preparing to compete on a global stage, the University of Washington's human-powered submarine. This sleek submersible is the latest evolution of a tradition that originated at the Applied Physics Laboratory back in the 1980s. Students from the UW's Applied Physics Laboratory launched their human-powered submersible, or hump sub, into the water off the north shore of Alki this morning. The Applied Physics Laboratory is actually the founding institution for the University of Washington's human-powered sub-team. APL's Andy Stewart mentors the sub-team. So it's actually pretty exciting that we're kind of come full circle and the APL is much more involved uh, than it has been in, in more recent years. Student team members deploy skills in state-of-the-art aerospace and marine engineering to design, build, test, and ultimately race the UW sub. Christened Naughty Dog, as in a knot in a piece of wood. It's really neat to have the team gravitating towards uh, the use of, of wood again in, in this year's uh, hull, uh, having built this cool new wooden submarine in partnership with the Northwest School for Wooden Boat Building. The UW sub team is betting on Naughty Dog's wooden hull to break speed records in this year's international competition. We're really hoping they can do it in the wood version because everyone else that shows up is going to have the high tech carbon version and uh, I think it'll be a real blast to have that sub in all its wooden glory be the perfect vehicle for setting a new world record. But is using wood maybe a little old-fashioned? What we found is that wood is actually somewhat of an ideal substance for uh, human-powered submarines because it actually turns out you want a pretty much neutrally buoyant material. Wood has kind of the ideal buoyancy properties, uh, great structural properties as well, and it's also very easy to work with. Wood played a key role in the first UW human-powered sub, constructed of spruce strips under a fiberglass hull. Naughty Dog's hull is red cedar strip planking and fiery kaya veneer. Naughty Dog depends on pedal power for speed. It's big enough for two pilots wearing scuba gear. The two-person submarine has a pilot in the front and also in the aft, and their feet are linked in kind of like a tandem-like bicycle uh, drivetrain frame in the very center, and the pilots pedal together and are facing in opposite directions. The 1989 sub also had a crew of two. One pedaled, the other steered. Naughty Dog is longer, wider, and a much greater mass than its composite predecessors. The coolest thing is the fact that we we took this really big goal of having a two-person submarine, with the drivetrain and all the pedals and everything in the middle, and transmitting all of that to the back of the submarine to actually be able to move. The fact that we decided we wanted to do that and then we followed through and actually made it happen is pretty amazing. It's a that was a big ask, but because it is such a greater engineering challenge, we learned a lot more from it. More naughty dog firsts, a new ducted prop, and totally electronic controls made totally waterproof. Everything went underwater for about four hours and nothing died, and so we're in really good shape for all of that. <laughs> Naughty Dog is a major project, big enough to require two co-captains. Andrew Farrell is technical director. We kind of divided it as a way of, one, making sure that uh, it was manageable. Have someone who can look at all the technical aspects and kind of focus on that, and then have someone who could might kind of manage all the other aspects of the team. And shipping the submarine to England, uh, in just a few weeks now, which is exciting and terrifying. <laughs> Arif McKee is in charge of administration. We've been working with a lot of companies um, in the greater Seattle area and uh, all across the U.S. who really support us in what we're trying to do. Um, some support us with uh, monetary contributions. Some supply us with in-kind uh, contributions. Uh, that looks really helpful because we're doing a lot of machining, a lot of our own manufacturing, and so the products that actual companies in industry are using, we also get our hands on, which is a great experience. Um, and it allows us to kind of, you know, get a leg up on the competition. Funding for the UW Human Powered Sub comes from UW Mechanical Engineering and the UW Boeing Department of Aeronautics and Astronautics. After all the hard work solving complex engineering challenges, all that's left to do is compete. Compete in the tradition established in 1989, when the intrepid subcrew braved the chop and tidal currents of the Atlantic Ocean off Miami Beach. The 2018 crew piloting Naughty Dog 
promises to be no less intrepid. It's a little bit claustrophobic, but really not too bad. You can still get the sound of the bubbles from your regulator, which is very relaxing, so it helps. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.